the truish story of the rise and fall of BlackBerry, the first real smartphone. If they are done well, there is almost no genre of movie I enjoy more than the rise of cultural figures and companies. Just this year, we got Air about the rise of Nike, Tetris about the creation of arguably the greatest video game of all time, and BlackBerry about the world's first smartphone. Now, while it doesn't have the whip-fast dialogue of Aaron Sorkin's script and David Fincher's direction for The Social Network, that is the movie that most closely resembles BlackBerry. When I heard that Jay Burichel and Glenn Howerton were the two leads in this, I figured I could skip it. Not because I don't like those guys, because I do, but because it felt like it was going to be a goofy and forgettable movie about a phone that has been obsolete for more than a decade. I was very wrong. Both of these guys disappear into their roles. Burichel plays Mike, the technical genius who just understands the internet and computing better than just about anyone else on the planet. I hardly recognized him in the first half of the movie. Then you have Glenn Howerton, who I really only know as the No Morals Dennis Reynolds from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Now, I never would have believed that he would play a character in Blackberry that was about three times as intense as his character in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. What's even crazier to me is that I have worked with a guy with similar qualities to Howerton's character. Now, while you wouldn't really want to be friends with such a short-tempered and intense individual, it is good to have a person like that on your team to step in when it feels like people and companies are trying to screw you over. Now, Blackberry feels low budget, and it feels kind of real. The camera work feels handheld, and every once in a while you get a fast zoom into a character's face across the room who just stares directly into the camera. Reminds me a lot of that scene that happened pretty much in every episode of The Office. Blackberry isn't really a comedy, but I did laugh, almost always at the intensity of Howerton's balding character, which seemed to know no bounds. I love a good underdog story, but I also love a good fall from grace story, and we get both here. Much like the story of the Titanic, everyone knows how the Blackberry story ends because you never see a Blackberry phone anymore, but it's still interesting to see how those ups and downs came to be, and to follow the phone along its journey. Blackberry feels like maybe the love child of the social network and the underseen TV show masterpiece Halt and Catch Fire. It isn't quite as good as either of those, but it is very entertaining and worth watching for no other reason than to see Glenn Howerton yell at everyone. A balding Dennis Reynolds. Excessive yelling. Phone prototypes. Traveling by private jet. Wearing a doom shirt and a red headband to a business meeting.